Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to make this pleated mini skirt out of this really nice wool poly blend fabric I found that has kind of a pinstripe pattern to it. For the main skirt pattern piece, we're gonna cut out a long rectangle with a length of your waist measurement times three, plus some added seam allowance on both ends to insert a zipper. I erred on the side of going slightly longer as we can always trim it at the end, which is always better than coming up short. And for the width of the rectangle, use your total desired skirt length measurement. And again, you'll also wanna make sure you're accounting for seam allowance on both the top and the bottom for the waistband as well as the skirt hem. If your fabric isn't long enough, you might need to patch two or three sections together. I wanted my pinstripes to run vertically on my skirt, so I did end up having to patch two pieces together to get my full length. For the pleats, I went ahead and marked one inch sections along the entire length of the rectangle. You also want to add the corresponding one inch markings about four and a half inches down from the top of the rectangle. I initially forgot to do this at this point, so I had to go back in and do this later. So just showing you a separate clip of what this looks like. Once you're done marking these all off, you're then going to take one of your vertical markings and bring it over to meet two markings over and pin it in place to create your pleat and I'll just show that again here and then you're going to want to repeat that along the full length of the skirt and then using those secondary markings that you made four and a half inches down you're going to repeat that process to help your pleats lie nice and flat now if you want your skirt to have a little bit more of a flounce to it you'll want to spread out each pleat just very slightly and repin each pleat as you go along which will open up the pleats just slightly towards the bottom of the skirt now if you prefer a more boxy look you can also feel free to skip this step. Once you're happy with your pleats, give that a good press. And finally, now to actually lock in the pleats, we're first gonna sew a straight stitch along the top length of the skirt. And then we're also gonna sew down the edge of each individual pleat from the top of the skirt down to that four and a half inch marking that you made earlier on. Once that's done, we can then move on to the waistband. Now for the pattern of the waistband, and I forgot to get a video of me actually drafting the pattern, but I essentially took the main skirt piece that we have so far, folded it in half, and then traced along the general curve shape of the waistline and measuring it out for my waist and hip measurements. From there, I cut out two pieces of the waistband fabric and sewed them together. So just folding the skirt in half to find the center point, which I'm going to match up with the seam line of the waistband. Because we want this waistband to essentially lie right on top of the pleats in the front of the skirt, we just want to make sure that we're aligning the right side of the waistband with the inside of the main skirt. This will make sure that once you flip the waistband back over to the front, your seam is encased within the inside of the waistband. Once sewn together, I then flipped the waistband over to the front, gave it a good press, and then we're going to understitch the top of the waistband into the seam allowance so it's not rolling over to the front, and then following that with a top stitch for a clean look from the front. To close up the waistband, we're going to fold in about three eighths of an inch from the bottom, sort of like how you would for a hem. We're going to pin it flat down to the skirt itself and then top stitch that down. We're going to do a folded hem along the bottom of the skirt. Now, this is where we're going to want to do a quick try on and make sure the skirt is fitting nicely around our waist and where we can now trim off any excess fabric on the ends. To close off the skirt, we're gonna insert an invisible zipper and close the seam. Final touches here, and this is where you can definitely get a little bit creative based on the look you're going for. I ended up tacking on two little bows that I made out of this thin black ribbon, and I just think it really pulled the skirt together. And here she is. I'm obsessed with how this finished skirt came out. Let me know what you think.